No, I don't think really any of us are able to grasp what's really happening and going down tomorrow, but I, I think it'll hit us all once we're walking out of the tunnel. Just 93,000 people is kind of hard to wrap your head around, and the fact that they're here for us and here supporting us is kind of crazy to think about. So it's kind of hard to put it into perspective and to prepare for it, honestly. Have you seen the tunnel? I mean, you haven't been to the Nebraska football game before, too. Have you seen it? Have you heard from other people about it? What have they told you about the tunnel walk? A little bit. I really don't have a ton of knowledge on it. I haven't been to a Nebraska football game, so this will be my first time seeing people in Memorial Stadium, and I'll be the one playing, so it's kind of weird to think about it that way. But, I mean, I'm a newbie just like the freshmen, so I'm kind of figuring it out and learning as I go, too. So I've heard a little bit, but definitely haven't seen it, been a part of it, or anything like that yet. No, not at all. I, I lucked out coming at this time. I think um, everything happens for a reason, and I truly believe that, but it is such an honor to be a part of it. And, you know, I think this team as a whole is super grateful for the opportunity that we do have, and I think it just speaks a lot about Nebraska as a whole, the state and our athletic program and the volleyball program here and how much support that we do have. So I have to give a lot of credit to the state and the program as a whole, but it's a super cool opportunity, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Yeah, I think, I mean, we're just treating it like it's another game day, obviously. It's a very big deal, but at the end of the day, our goal is to win the match tomorrow. So um, we're just going into it like it's any other game day. And we've played volleyball our whole life, so not much is changing in that aspect of kind of how we prepare, you know, just remaining calm, making sure that we're all grateful and understand the opportunity that we do have. But also at the end of the day, it's, it's another volleyball match. So that's kind of how we're going at it, so. But it's an outdoor match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see tonight at practice. Uh, we haven't played outside since beach season. I think beach will help us a ton just because we do have that experience playing outside. Obviously, it's very different, but we have played volleyball outside before. Every single person on the team has, so I think we'll kind of lean on that a little bit. But we'll find out tonight. We have our first practice, so we'll kind of see how it is playing with six people outside on a TerraFlex court, not in the sand, things like that. We'll kind of figure it out as we go. I'll definitely have towels because I sweat a ton indoors, so I'm not ready for how much I'm going to sweat outside, and I'll have to completely change in between the two sets. So we'll see. We'll be prepared. Some people are bringing some sunglasses, things like that, but for the most part, we'll look pretty normal like we do inside. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And I, like I said, it's really hard to put into perspective. You, We've been talking about it for so long, and you just kind of think of it like, oh, like six months away, four months away. Like, we still have a long time, and now it's tomorrow. So it's kind of weird to think about. And I, like I said, I really don't think it's going to hit most of us until we walk out there tomorrow to go play. But it's just an amazing opportunity for us and for women's sports in general and just the sport of volleyball. Volleyball is growing a ton in the U.S., and I think – this is one big stepping stone for volleyball, but also women's sports in general. So I think it's a great opportunity. And like I've said before, we're just so grateful to be a part of it. Is your family making the trip? And if they are, how excited are you for them to experience something like this? Yeah, my mom, dad, and some of my uncles and cousins and grandparents are going to be able to come, which is really exciting because they haven't been able to make it so far this fall. So I'll be able to see them for the first time. And for them to be able to share this experience with me is really cool. And I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be telling my kids about it one day, and so for my parents to be there as well, and just for my family to be able to be here with me while something's so crazy, and you know, we're making history, so it's really cool for them to be here and to be a part of it with me. You know, this is a date that a lot of people have been looking forward to since it was announced, and class is canceled tomorrow, and you might set the record for the largest attended women's sporting event in U.S. history. Have you guys grasped the gravity of what might actually be happening tomorrow? <laughs> No. I mean, it's crazy to think about. And like I've said, I just, we're so blessed to be a part of it. And I think it's really, it's going to do a lot for our sport and for women's sports, kind of like Becca talked about. Like, we just want to have the same opportunities as male athletes get. And I think Nebraska kind of being the first one to lead that charge says a ton about our school and our state. And I think 
it's really special for me to be a part of that and to be a part of a school that cares so much about their women's athletics. And so I'm honestly excited to see what happens next, maybe softball, maybe basketball, women's basketball, whatever it is. But I think Nebraska kind of taking the charge says a lot about our state and our athletic department and Trev and everyone who's put so much into it. So super excited about it and excited to see what happens next. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one thing that we've been working on this entire season is tight huddles. No matter what happens after the play, if we lose that point, whatever it may be, we're going to have a really tight huddle so that we're still united as a team. And I think that's going to be really important tomorrow. That way, in those tight huddles, we can give that direct feedback like, hey, watch this. Hey, this person hit here last time, whatever it may be. So I think that's going to be really important for us because, like you said, during a rally or during a point, we might not be able to hear each other. And so that feedback after and in timeouts and things like that will be really important. So I think that'll probably be our main focus is just getting that clear, short, quick feedback out during huddles and timeouts and things like that will be very important. Mitch, this is still a regular season match. I mean, you still have a Big Ten title and national championship title you're chasing. What do you think you can take from tomorrow's event to carry on through the rest of the season? I think just the support, I think, is really huge for this team. And I think knowing that we have 90 plus thousand people behind us and we have a state and an athletic program that's willing to put this on for this program and we get to be a part of it is kind of cool when you think about it so I think just the support and knowing that we do have all those people behind us to go throughout Big Tens and hopefully on to win a national championship obviously is our goal so I think it's definitely the support and just knowing how much we're taking care of how much the athletic program how much the state everything like that how much they care for us I think will be huge for us. bring water, it's going to be hot, <laughs> stay hydrated, and just have fun. I think just taking it all in like we are, I think, you know, fans get to be a part of making history too. So I think it's super cool for them to be able to be there and to share the experience with us. So but definitely stay hydrated. Don't want anyone passing out or anything. <laughs> Oh, really? That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Knowing that you're playing in front of the next generation of volleyball players, does that inspire you or what do you kind of react to? Yeah. I mean, that's what we do it for ultimately at the end of the day. I know most people on our team play because someone inspired them. And so, you know, whoever it was for that person on our team, we get to be that for young girls now. And so I think it's so cool for us. And I think that's what drives a lot of people on our team is they want to do it for the person after us. And so I think it's super cool for us to be able to obviously be in this environment, but for so many young girls to be able to be here and to share the experience with us, like I said. And Bob's obviously very hard to get into, so I'm glad that lots of young girls are able to come and watch a match and, you know, like I said, be a part of something crazy that's about to happen. Yeah, I mean, they're the ones that laid the groundwork. They're the ones that paved the way for us. So, I mean, you have to give them tons of credit because if they didn't do what they did, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in today. So I think it's awesome that a lot of them are able to come back. I'm excited to meet a lot of them because I haven't before. So I'm super excited to meet a lot of them. But like I said, you know, it's celebrating the program as a whole, and they ultimately are the ones that have paved the way for this program. And so because of their hard work and because of what they've done is why we're able to be here today. So got to give them tons of credit. Do you have anything on your to-do list? I mean, outside of the usual match routine, anything on your to-do list special for tomorrow you make sure you do? I don't think so. Maybe some sunscreen, just to make sure. <laughs> some face sunscreen for sure. But. For the most part, everything will be pretty much the same. Um, like I said, we're just playing volleyball. And so I think I'm just going to look at it that way, try not to hype it up too much, and then in the moment soak it all in. But I don't want to overthink it too much going into the game. Just another day playing volleyball. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Coco.